Enter madness. Enter. Okay. Call of Cthulhu. I've seen this game before a long time ago, but never played it. But it seems like uh, uh, some uh, an interest has been garnered up. But let's see how it goes. Start play. Now! Empty slot. Chapter 1. Pierce Investigations Agency, Boston. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him up from his torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. Hmm. Okay, okay, enter madness. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who is in callousness can remain sane to the hideous end. He should be Lovecraft. Oh my, what is this? <coughs> oh! Oh, whoa! Whoa! Shark! Uh, oh, passed out? Oh! Up again! Uh, game saved! First person? Oh. Maybe I shouldn't use a controller? I guess you know why people get mad when you see stuff like this. And this? Bones? Let me out! Nobody's there? Seems like a creature? Nah, maybe not. Okay. Uh, how about... Break that chain? Of course not. Well, I guess you're, you're desperate, so you'll do anything. It's really dark in here. You must light up some items in order to interact with them. Fine. Okay, maybe I'll need this. Obviously. Nice. Why do they have that creepy... Okay, I guess it's the gas line. What is this? A bolt cutter, okay. Can I go down here? Oh! Fish? Ah... Uh, He's trying to scare me from going down. Nope. Nothing interesting. Ah, well. The light only travel very short. Should I go here first or, uh... Um, how about I cut the other side as well before I go in?
Oh. Cut! Oh. In my wake, oh. hold along. Fate inescapably draws you on. Ah, uh, who, who's that? Who's there? Speaking to my mind? Eh. Uh. Oh well. Let's just open the door and make sure that you can escape when you can. Uh. Uh. Even more animals with the guts taken out. What a ah. offering. What? You mean me? Or these animals that you just got out? Or maybe someone got up for you as an offering? Oh my, oh. Putrid offering. Give me something nice at least, yeah? I agree with you. Fight. You have been chosen. What am I running away from? What do you want me? What do you want me to run? I don't want to run. I guess for now. Open sesame. Behold! Behold! Wow! Everything has already been written. What? These guys have no eyes! More like no orifices. But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. Whoa! Oh my! Oh. Whoa! No! What? Where did, where are they? Oh! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Oh. Those guys have to have no no. I hate whiskey. That's what you get first. <laughs> consult consult diary. Okay. Mm. Contracted to the Wentworth Prior Detective Agency. Mm. Adultery, self scores, disappearances. For a moment. What am I looking at here? Okay. Oh, it's a skill tree. Okay. Uh, two CP needed before the next level. Okay. I don't have any CP yet. But there is a, uh, a, a exclamation mark over there. What does that mean? Oh, sanity. Edward Pierce is a veteran of the First World War, where he took part in the Mills Argonne Offensive. Okay. He is one of the few survivors of the Lost Battalion, American units that suffered heavy losses from the enemy. Oh, so sad. Inventory Lost Battalion 10778. It's been too long since I've slept in a bed. What is this? Nothing interesting? Too bad. I used to be an avid reader. Now what happened to you? The Lost Battalion. Hmm. Holding your position and obeying orders. That isn't courage. I wonder why I still take these things. Mm. They swore that it would put an end to the nightmares, but for a while now their effect has been wearing off. Oh, I can inspect them very slowly. Can I feel off that?
And I just came back from sleep. What is it? It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Oh. Oh, it's a... Uh... Okay. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay, but I know that if I stop, the memories will return. Uh... What nameless creature is calling me? What is this? Uh... No. Don't drink. Go call. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Sure. Ah, uh, This is the trick. They want your personal information for their own gain. What is this? I got 8 CP. Where did I get that? Oh. Huh. Uh, okay. Uh, spot hit. Whoa, whoa. Allocate your character's points. Each character points allow you to improve the score of a skill. Fine. What is this? Uh. Uh. Okay. Not. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still- Nope. I'm not having any of that. I'm coming. <laughs> oh, Shadow is really prominent. Oh, you can, you can... Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. It seems fine. It's not that bad. You're free to leave anytime, sir. Yep. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Uh -huh. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. Okay. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? 
I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Where'd you put that? Okay. Uh. Strange picture painted by Sarah Hawkins. A short while before it tried to send to her father just after the artist died. The um, okay. Examine the painting of the Hawkins file, okay. Mm -hmm. Why do I still have this? Oh, knowledge. Well, uh, let's look at the file first. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Hmm. Warehouse 36 Darkwater. It says that the fire started in the dining room of the whole family. Consult di consult diary. Oh, fine. Let's look at the painting. Huh? Oh. What's this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Oh, I have to. Do I have a time limit? No, I hope not. Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You, you must, must uncover, uncover it. it. Yeah, what's next? Harry you Barrow. must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Hmm. That is not all the information I need. How about this? Something's not right with this story. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. Well, okay, that's what I'm doing. 
Why is this not blacked out yet? The sender's label mentions warehouse 30. That's right. And you think you're... That is what... Go to do... Fine. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Well, he seems to know something about me. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. A dense work aim at interns. Okay. What's the point here? Oh. Oh, there's a progression because I read the book. I see. Oh, no, no, no. Let's read my. The Wentworth book. Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. Clearly not. I used to be an avid reader. Here, I thought you can get something from there. Where can I find a file from Dark Water? About Dark Water. No, don't drink. Hmm. Oh. I should get rid of all this stuff. Oh. <laughs> what is any information about dark water? Oh, maybe this one. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. Mm -hmm. Okay. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Hey, I haven't kept the secondary objective. Oh, that is the secondary objective. Uh. Oh. Charles Hawkins. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. So when I read that already before dawn, don't I? <coughs> uh, nah, guess not. Time to move. Time to move. Okay. 